Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Dwadwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the issue wherein the OnePlus phone tends to automatically exit the EDL mode within 5 seconds. So what actually happens is when I boot my phone to EDL mode or flashing the firmware by a MSM download tool, my phone will wait for 4 to 5 seconds and it will then automatically exit the EDL mode and boot to the OS. As a result of this, I am not able to flash the OFP firmware by MSM tool and my, I am not able to go back to the stock firmware. While you could also use the fastboot enhance tool to go to stock firmware, but I usually prefer to use the MSM tool. But as of now, due to this bug, I am not able to boot my phone to the EDL mode for more than 5 seconds. So first off, let me show you the, what exactly is my issue. So currently, I have checked out all the requirements. So just to repeat, when you want to flash any firmware by MSM tool, you will first of have to install Android SDK platform tools. This is required so that you can execute the ADB command and boot your phone to the EDL mode. Next up, you have to install the Qualcomm USB drivers. These are the also known as the Qualcomm HS USB QD loader drivers. These are also known as the EDL drivers. So make sure to download and install them from the guide. I have given the link in the description. So please make sure to install these drivers onto your PC. Once you have installed the EDL drivers as well, you then have to disable the driver signature enforcement so that Windows 11 does not conflict with the EDL drivers. So make sure to install these drivers onto your PC. Just I have made a separate guide and a video on that as well. You could refer to my guide order video. Or if just let me show you in short, what you have to do is press and hold the shift key. And while holding the shift key, you have to click on restart. And with this, your PC will boot to the Windows recovery environment. From there, go to troubleshoot advanced option startup settings and press the 7 or F7 key. And this will disable driver signature enforcement. Once that is done, you could then download the MSM tool from this guide itself and extract it onto your PC. And now you have to boot your phone to EDL mode and then you could flash the firmware. Well, up to step 4, everything is working well and good. But in step 5, as soon as I boot my phone to EDL mode, it remains there for 5 seconds and then it boots to the OS. So let me show you the exact issue. I've already carried out the first 4 steps, which involves Android SDK platform tools. I have installed the Qualcomm drivers as well. Then I have disabled driver signature enforcement as well. And I also have an MSM tool at hand. So now let me show you my issue. Before that, let's launch the device manager. So right click on the Windows icon and select device manager. And now make sure to expand the port section. And I will now show you my issue as well. So let's expand the port section. And now I'll be booting my phone to the EDL mode. For the unaware, if your phone is being shown as Qualcomm which is USB QD loader, then this signifies that your phone is in the EDL mode successfully. So let me now show you that as well. So let's now boot our phone to the EDL mode and you, you should keep a track of the port section. So for booting your phone to EDL mode, first and foremost, you have to unplug your phone from the USB cable. You can just make sure that the other end of the USB cable is there on the PC. You should only remove the end which is on your phone. So remove the USB cable from your phone and now you have to power off your phone. So let's now power it off. Once your phone has been turned off, you now have to Press and hold the volume up and volume down keys and while holding both this key, you have to connect the other end of the USB cable to your PC and to your phone and as you could see, our phone is now in the EDL mode. So now, let go of the key and our phone is now in the EDL mode as you can see from here. But just wait for 5 seconds and as you will be able to see, my phone will exit the EDL mode. So let's count the timer and as you could see, our phone has now exited the EDL mode and my phone will now go to the OS. So this tends to happen every time when I try to flash the firmware using the MSM tool. So in this video, I'll show you how to fix this issue. No matter whether you use the ADB command, the public command or the hardware key combination, it will automatically exit the EDL mode within 5 seconds. So how to fix this issue? So for fixing this issue, we will take the help of the driver signature enforcement itself. So in other words, you will now have to re-enable driver signature enforcement. Yes, you have to re-enable it. And once you re-enable it, you will get a yellow warning sign next to your phone name. As you could see, my phone is in the EDL mode, but it's currently showing a yellow warning sign. So, while you will not be able to flash the firmware when you get a warning sign, but in this mode, Windows will hijack your phone in EDL mode and it will not let it go to the OS. Till the time you are getting a warning sign, Windows will hijack your phone, any OnePlus phone in this EDL mode and it will not let the phone go to the OS. So, with this, we are that we are done with the first half of the guide. So with this, we are at least able to hold the phone to the EDL mode. But since now we are getting a warning sign, we will not be able to flash the firmware by MSM tool. So once you have got the warning sign, your phone will be stuck in the EDL mode. And then you could disable the driver's signature enforcement. And then your phone will not exit the EDL mode and you could easily flash the firmware. 
So first off, you have to re-enable DIOS signature enforcement to get this yellow sign. Once you get this yellow warning sign, then your phone will stay in the ideal mode. Windows will not let it boot to the OS. And once your phone is in the ideal mode, stuck in the ideal mode, you could then disable the DIOS signature enforcement. And with this, this yellow warning sign will go away, but your phone will still stay in the ideal mode. And you could then flash the firmware via the MSM tool. So with that said, let's get started. First and foremost, as of now, you might have turned off the driver signature enforcement. So we will now have to re-enable driver signature enforcement. For that, you just have to restart your PC. So let me restart my PC once and then I'll be back. In the meantime, make sure you, your phone should be connected to your PC and you should not interact with it. So as of now, as you can see, my phone is booted to the OS. So let it remain in the OS. And now I'm doing a restart. And when I've done the restart, then the driver signature will be re-enabled. So let me perform a restart and then I'll be back. So guys, I have just restarted my PC and upon the restart, the driver signature enforcement will have been re-enabled. And as of now, you will not be able to flash the firmware in ideal mode, but at least Windows will hold your phone in this mode and you should now get a yellow exclamation mark next to your phone in ideal mode. So let's now verify that as well. So just to repeat, the driver signature has been re-enabled. And now let's check out the results. So right click on the Windows icon and expand the device manager. And under device manager, you now have to expand the port section. So keep it expanded and then we will proceed ahead. So let me now expand the port section. And now let's boot our phone to ideal mode. So just to repeat in ideal mode, first and foremost, you have to unplug your phone from the PC, but keep the other end of the USB cable plugged into your PC itself. But remove this end from your phone. So once that is done, you now have to power up your phone. So let's do that and wait for a few seconds. And now you have to press and hold the volume up and volume down keys. And while holding both the key, connect your phone to the PC via USB cable. You will now hear a sound. And with this, our phone is now in the ideal mode and you could now release the keys. So as you could see currently, our phone is now in the ideal mode with a yellow warning sign, but at least it's in the ideal mode and it will not boot to the OS. It might refresh a couple of times, but it will stay in the ideal mode itself. So with this, we have at least done one half of the guide. We were at least able to hold our phone to ideal mode. As you can see from here, our phone is now in the ideal mode. Even if it go undergoes a refresh, that's not an issue. It will still remain in the ideal mode. However, as I've told you before, you will not be able to flash any firmware in ideal mode because of this yellow warning sign. So you will now have to, again, disable the driver's signature enforcement. And this time around, the phone will still stay in the ideal mode and you could then flash the firmware. So let me now show you how to disable the driver signature enforcement so for that i already shown you but just to re repeat the steps so just a minute so you have to press and hold the okay before that please leave your phone in the set itself as of now it's in the ideal mode and connect to pc via usb cable so leave your phone in this mode itself in the ideal mode and now you have to disable the driver signature enforcement for that you have to press and hold the shift key by holding the shift key click on restart you will then be taken to the windows recovery environment from there go to troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and then you have to press the F7 key or 7 key to disable driver signature enforcement. So let me do that and then I'll be back. So guys, I have just disabled the driver signature enforcement. So let's now relaunch the device manager. So use the Windows X shortcut key and select device manager. Now let's expand the port section. So just a minute, let me now expand the port section. And as you could see, our phone is now in the ideal mode. And it will remain in the ideal mode forever until we manually reboot our phone to the OS. So this was quite an impressive workaround. You think which you could hold your phone to the ideal mode. So just to verify the process, let's now try to launch the MSM tool and check out the result there as well. So you could download the MSM tool from this guide. I have made a guide and MSM tool for all the MS OnePlus phones. So let's now launch the MSM tool. You have to launch using the exe file. At the time of recording, only till the OnePlus 9 series we have the MSM tool. From the OnePlus 10 series, you, you will require an OPPO authorized service center account. So you might not be able to use beginning from OnePlus 10 series, but up to OnePlus 9 series, you could download the MSM tool from my guide and for initial OnePlus North series as well. In the logins, just click on next and you should now be booted to the, it would now load it. And as you could see, we are now getting the connected message and as well in the device manager, the phone is now shown as Qualcomm HS USB QD loader without any warning sign. So with this, our process stands complete and we could now start the flashing process by hitting the start button. So guys, on that note, I round up this video. So just to recall in short, 
initially what was happening was whenever i booted my phone to edl mode it would automatically exit edl mode within 5 seconds so what we did we first re enable driver signal reinforcement upon re enabling this our phone was shown as a yellow exclamation mark along with the edl mode name which is qualcom hs qsb loader but it was showing with a yellow warning sign but at the same time windows would hold or hijack the phone in edl mode and it will not let it go or boot to the os so at least we were able to boot our phone to the edl mode upon re enabling the windows driver signal reinforcement but since you have re enabled that you will not be able to flash any firmware because you have got a warning sign and driver will conflict so then you have to keep your phone in the edl mode and then you have to again disable driver signal reinforcement once you turn that off the yellow warning sign will disappear and then you could flash the firmware using the msm tool as shown here so guys on that note i round off this video if you still have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching